An important modeling concept is the description of types and their characteristics. A model element is described by a type. Strictly speaking, this element is classified by a type. In the UML, we speak of the elements that are used as classifiers and those that can have a classifier. For example, in a class notebook, the hard disk was inserted as a property. The hard disk has an eSATA port with type eSATA. Since the class contains hard disk structured elements, we can make them visible as well. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create such a nested structure and visualize nesting at any depth in the diagram. Let's go through the process of creation structured elements step by step. For this example, I'm using a uh, class diagram where I'm going to create several classes. Notebook, hard disk, eSATA, mainboard and USB. And let's create a port on a class notebook using the context menu. And now we can assign the type for the port. In a tab property of the properties window, I select the type. In our case, the USB from the model. If your model is already very large, you can search for the model element as well. By OK, I confirm the selection and most importantly, save the changes. Once it's done, the port type appears after the column. As you know, there are many ways how to achieve one goal in EA, but not all of them are efficient. Since this procedure is a bit clumsy, let's try something better. This time, I'm gonna drag and drop the class hard disk into the diagram on the class notebook. And choose drop as a property. This is more efficient way how to create a property typed by the classifier at once, don't you think? Now I will use the same method one more time with mainboard class. As a next step, I will drag the eSATA and drop it as a port to the hard disk. Again, drop as, but this time port. Okay. And uh, as a last step, what I will do, I select the eSATA class and assign seven ports representing e SATA pins. Let's speed it up, shall we? In order to fix the uneven space between the ports, I'm about to show you a trick how to fix this. First, I select the e SATA class and its structured elements, and then by holding a control key, I deselect the e SATA class while the ports are still selected. Then, from the context menu, I choose space evenly and select the option down. Here we go. Now the ports are aligned. By this diagram, we clearly define the types of the parts where the notebook is consist of and the types of ports assigned to the notebook and hard disk. Note that we didn't assign any types to the seven ports of eSATA class. Now let's see how the nesting works. Let us create a new class diagram. Okay. On that diagram, I'm going to drag and drop the already existing notebook class and drop it as a link. Okay, change the size. And let's see what we got here. The features window. The features window manages structural elements. The ports using the interaction points tab and the parts or properties on the tab parts slash properties. If you want any structural element to be visible on a parent element on a diagram, select the checkbox next to that element's name. Notice that the visible column in this panel then shows the value true. If you select the show owned slash inherited checkbox, the list will also include any structural elements from any classifiers that the parent element has. So I will also make visible those parts typed by hard disk and mainboard, change their size. And eventually on hard disk, I will make visible the E SATA. And now this port is in fact the nesting port for the seven pins as you can see them in the list down there. 
Once I click on all, I will make all of them visible on a diagram as nested ports. The size of the nesting port, of course, changes accordingly, but then you need to fix the layout of the diagram manually. For instance, using the trick what I showed you earlier. Select those elements, space evenly and down. Perfect. And that's it. Now you know how to create nesting ports. This and many other exercises can be found in our book, Compendium of Enterprise Architect. This paperback serves as the documentation and guide for UMLLIT Enterprise Architect training, but is also excellent for self-study, delivery within Europe and worldwide.